Welcome back, everybody. Well, a world champion sumo wrestler flying to Italy banned from a Delta flight because not because he made a disturbance, but because of his size. Should a passenger be banned from flying because of their size? Well, Laura Engel is picking up the story with more on all this live from New York. Hi, Laura. Hi, Uma. You know, a recent business trip turned into a big disappointment and a canceled ticket for the American amateur sumo wrestler who holds the Guinness World Record for the heaviest living athlete on the planet. Manny Yarbrough stands six foot seven and weighs 700 pounds. Now, despite his size, he says he's traveled throughout the years just fine, making special arrangements ahead of time with airlines and buying extra seats. A recent trip booked on Delta Airlines from Newark to Italy, where he had a paying gig, was canceled without any real explanation according to Yarbrough. I could see if I just tried to get on with one seat, then they would have an argument. But this is an instance I had three seats paid for. So that's, that's what mystifies me even more. I don't understand, like, even at 700 pounds, if you spread 700 pounds over three seats, it, this more than accommodates it. So I, I really don't know, like, what the problem was or what the problem is. Now, most airlines, including Delta, have a standard customer of size policy that doesn't have a weight limit, but rather an armrest rule. The armrests on each side of a seat must be comfortably lowered to hold a passenger. If not, additional seats must be purchased. Now, Delta Airlines tells Fox they review these on a case by case basis, adding, quote, we conducted a thorough review of the customer's request to fly with us. Based on that review, we simply cannot accommodate his request. We also spoke with a travel law attorney who tells us it will be up to the Department of Transportation now to decide if there was any discrimination in Yarbrough's case. You're telling a person, everybody else can fly, but we pick you out, you're not going to fly anymore. That's wrong. And I hope the DOT forces this airline, give them enough of a penalty this time that the airlines will think twice before they tell an Emmanuel Yarbrough or anybody like him, you're too big for our planes. And the DOT confirms with Fox they are reviewing the case, but have not made a decision yet on this. We'll let you know what happens. Uma.